Good morning, students. So I will continue the basic rules of differentiation. So we have the last two question, the product rule and the quotient rule. So we have here the product rule uh, d over dx xy is equal to the derivative of x times y plus the derivative of y times x. So we have here an example y is equal to x plus 3 times x squared minus 2. So we have to get the derivative of x first. So the x is the x plus 3 and the y is x squared minus 2. So get first the derivative of x, then multiply it by y. So simply just copy y. So we have x plus 3, we have that uh, exponent of 1. So bring down 1. Then 1 minus 1 plus the derivative of 3. 3 is constant, so the derivative of 3 is 0. Just copy y, so we have x squared minus 2. Then plus the derivative of y, since y is x squared minus 2, so just copy x, x plus 3 times the derivative of y, which is bring down 2. We have 2 minus 1, and then the derivative of negative 2 is 0 because 2 is, is a constant. So we have here 1 x to the power of 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. Then x squared minus 2 plus x plus 3, the derivative of x squared minus 2 is 2x to the 1. Since uh, x to the 0 or anything that is powered by 0 is always equal to 1. So this is just equal to 1. Then x squared minus 2 plus x plus 3, we have 2x to the 1. So in algebra again, we will not put exponent if that is 1. So it is automatic. So we have, since this is 1, we will not put 1 here. So we, just, we will just put x squared minus 2 plus x plus 3 times 2x. So simplifying here, we have x squared minus 2 plus distribute 2x to x plus 3 is 2x squared plus 6x. So since we have common terms, x squared plus 2x squared, so we can combine x squared plus 2x squared equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 2. So this is now the derivative of our function. Okay, so we have here the next example. So our x here is 5x squared plus 1 and our y is x cubed plus 1. So following the pattern, get first the derivative of x. So bring down 2. This is uh, 5 and then 2 since we, we have the numerical coefficient of 5. So we have 5 times 2. We have x2 minus 1 plus 0. So we have 1. The derivative of 1 is 0. Just, just copy y. x cubed plus 1. Plus we have copy x. 5 x squared plus 1. And get the derivative of y. So bring down 3. We have here. And 3 minus 1 plus the derivative of 1 is 0. Again, 1 is constant. So it is 0. So we have here. 10x, that is 5 times 2, we have 10x to the 1. I am just showing here the next step since for the sake of video uh, discussion, you can just skip this part. So we have x cubed plus 1 plus the derivative of, we have y, so this is 5x squared plus 1, and we have 3x squared. So then we have 10x x cubed plus 1 plus 5x squared plus 1, we have 3x squared. So distribute 10x to x cubed plus 1. So this is 10x and x cubed. By loss of exponent, we will just add the exponent. So x to the 1 of x cubed is x to the 4. So 10 times 1, we have 10. Plus, we have 10x times 1 is, is an identity, so 10x. Plus, 
three uh, three x squared times five x squared so just x squared and x squared add the exponents so this is four and five times three is fifteen plus three x squared so is one so one times three x squared is three x squared so again combine the similar terms at uh, ten x to the fourth and we have fifteen x to the fourth equals twenty five x to the fourth plus three x squared plus 10x. So I, I just uh, have my final answer in descending exponent. So 4, 2, and 1. The next one is quotient rule. So the quotient rule is this one, y derivative of x minus x derivative of y over y squared. So squared here is a constant. So we have here an example, y is equal to 5x plus 1 over 3x minus 4. So, following the quotient rule, just copy y. So, we have our x is 5x plus 1 and our y is 3x minus 4. So, just copy y. So, this is y. So, this is 3x minus 4 times the derivative of x, which is 5x plus 1. So, 5x, 1 minus 1 plus 0. So, I guess it is clear that I have already explained this one to the previous. So, minus... So, copy x, 5x plus 1, and get the derivative of y. So, this is 3x, 1 minus 1, minus 0, over 3x minus 4 squared. So, don't forget the squared until the end of the solution, of your solution. So, simplify, we have 3x minus 4, and then this is just 5, because x to the 0 is 1. Yeah, so 5 minus 5x plus 3. And again, this is 3x to the 0. So 3 times 1 just equal to 3. So we have 3x minus 4 squared. Next, distribute 5 to 3x minus 4. So 5 times 3x equal, equals 15x. And 5, my, uh, 5 times negative 4 is negative 15. So I would advise not to distribute first the negative sign unless you're going to distribute first the number uh, number 3 to these terms 5x plus 1. 3 times 5 equals 15x and 3 times 1 equals 3. So we have 15x plus 3. This is now the time you're going to distribute the negative sign. But if you're already, already mastered the uh, operation, so you may just simultaneously distribute the negative and 3. So distribute the negative sign, we have negative 15x and minus 3. Because plus and minus, when you multiply it, it is always negative. A combined similar terms, you have 15x minus 15x. So this is called the additive inverse. So 15x minus 15x is 0. So cancel that one. So negative 20 minus negative 3, since they have the same sign, so you add the number. So 20 plus 3 is 23. Copy the sign, negative 23. Over 3x minus 4 squared. So this is now the derivative of our function. We have here the second example. Okay, so we have the function y is equal to 3x minus 4 over 2x squared minus 1. So copy 2x squared minus 1 because this is our y and then get the derivative of okay, numerator x. So we have 3x 1 minus 1 minus 0 minus, this is the pattern for the quotient for not always minus. And we have copy 3x minus 4 and get the derivative of the denominator. So we have 2. We have 2 here because we have 2 as numerical coefficient of 2x squared. So 2, bring down 2. We have 2x to the 2 minus 1 minus 0. So 2x squared minus 1 squared. Again, do not forget the squared in the denominator. So simplifying 2x squared minus 1, so this is just 3 times 1, is 3. So we have 3x minus 4, and this is 2 times 2, it is 4, and then x to the 1. Then we have over 2x squared minus 1 squared. 
simplifying, distribute again 3 to 2x squared minus 1. So we have 2 times 3 is 6x squared minus 3. Simplify first this one uh, before distributing the negative sign. But again, if you are if you have mastered the uh, operations, you may simultaneously distribute negative and 4x. Okay, so we have 4x times 3x is 12x squared. Then you have negative 4 times 4x equals 16x over 2x squared minus 1 squared. I distribute the negative sign. That will become 6 squared minus 3 minus 12x squared. Negative and then negative becomes positive. We have 16x. So we, we have similar terms here. 6x squared and negative 12x squared. In simple operation class, adding numbers with opposite sign, we will recall that we are going to subtract the number and copy the sign of the largest valued number. So I'll subtract 12 to 6 is 6. Since 12 is the largest valued number and it is negative, so just copy the negative sign. So we have negative 6 x squared plus 16 x minus 3 over 2 x squared minus 1 squared. So this is now the derivative of our function.